What is going on, guys? We are coming with one of our rock star students, Shane, out of South Bend, Indiana. In this video, you're gonna wanna stay tuned because Shane's gonna talk about how he took a $500 deal and turned it into 17 deals in his pipeline in his first five days of working with us. Man, five days. <laughs> 17 deals in the pipeline, amazing stuff. You don't want to miss it, so stay tuned. As always, for the best mobile home investing advice, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell to be notified of new videos we post every week. All right, Shane, you are doing some awesome things. You're a young cat. Uh, what were you doing before you got into mobile home investing? Right before mobile home investing, I was doing uh, wholesaling for freestanding homes. But I only did that for seven days. <laughs> I went that for seven days and then switched to mobile homes because I saw it was like, oh, this, this is really good. I can't, I can't let this you know, opportunity go away. Um, but then right before that, I was um, a clinic coordinator for a local uh, or regional uh, HIV organization here in my region, Northern Indiana. Yep. Wow. So um you got a lot going on explain to us what or uh, what mobile home investing experience you had you know prior before these first deals or even any real estate investing experience you had i, I really didn't have any real estate investing experience at all um one of my mentors he took me to a real estate investors meeting two years ago i met some people kind of kept in contact saw them around town here and there but didn't even study it. Did just you know just knew what knew what people were doing were in real estate, like you know buy and hold, flips, uh, and wholesaling. But really didn't even study those those terms and concepts until until about two weeks ago. <laughs> um, so I had no no experience at all. I just said uh, you know I just something hit me, and I called my mentor because he's a real estate investor slash uh, agent. I called him. I said you know let's go have lunch. Let's go have coffee. We sat down and I said, what is, you know, how do I get started in real estate? I have nothing but time. I have no, no money. I have no experience. I'm 20 years old, so I have barely any credit. And if any, it's not good, you know. So what's, what's the best way for me to start in, uh, in real estate? And he said, well, if I were you, I would start with wholesaling. He told me that. We sat there for about two hours. He explained the entire concept of wholesaling to me, all the paperwork, you know, how to find homes, how to uh, analyze deals. I went home at about 10 o'clock. I stayed up until two or three in the morning. I found a home. I called him at six in the morning. I said, I found this home. Let's go look at it. Um, <laughs> and we met there and he was like, okay, you know, nice, nice. So I um, tried to get that, that home. And then I found another one immediately. So I had two homes. I was like, okay, this wholesaling thing is kind of easy. Let's just, you know, get the deals done, right? So I'm trying to get the deals done, um, but I didn't want to, you know, sign any paperwork right away because I was still kind of learning. I didn't want to get myself into something I couldn't get out of. Um, luckily, I was fortunate enough that my mentor, the agent, he he was an investor in uh, in this area and in Chicago, but he also had a network of other in investors. So all I had to do was really bring the deals. He brought the buyers, you know, so mm -hmm. value for value, right? Right. Um, and I brought the deals, but it was my decision not to actually follow through because after analyzing it, I was like, you know, these homes, this is a whole new construction we're gonna have to do. I don't wanna even, I don't want this to be the first deal. I'm gonna just, I like to get things done quickly, but you know, I'm, I'm willing to be patient to find a really nice deal to learn from and make money from. So while I was out looking for my next deals, you know, I'm on Instagram searching through hashtags like real estate investing uh, wholesaling this and that i come across trailer cash academy i'm like mobile homes what <laughs> is there even money in mobile home? i didn't even i thought we only had one or two mobile homes in my area i didn't know indiana was one of the states with like the most mobile home parks in the country yeah. and so i had to like google mobile homes near me they're like 10 within 30 minutes away i had never seen they're kind of hidden you know it's like okay well i got a lot of supply and these people are on Instagram kind of teaching how, you know, how to make money in this business, you know, but you guys keep your information <laughs> in this, in this circle of people who are, who intend to be really serious about, about, about the concept about, about investing, you know, so you're putting value out there, but just, you know, 
the serious people they'll they'll come and they'll apply what you guys what you guys teach and you wait to give that to them so i, I think that's really smart so i tried to i mean i was on your instagram your website i watched the webinar maybe four times <laughs> that one couple that made ten thousand in 48 hours you know that was really big inspiration to me. Yeah. i'm on your facebook page and i'm trying to just get as much information as i can from what you guys put out there before we got on the call and i could um join the groups and things like that so i got enough just enough to feel confident enough to try to get into the mobile home investing mobile home real estate kind of kind of arena so i nice. what well, i took with my mentor um told me the week before i just applied it to mobile homes you know and i was just just trying to grind and hustle to to get some deals done in 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 the wholesaling part because mine i still had no money so i couldn't just go buy one and rent it out or, or flip it in and things like that yeah awesome Man. that that's crazy so what actually interested you in mobile homes like i know oh, you hold were on. i gotta i gotta cut you off i okay. gotta just say i gotta commend you man you're 20 years old he's moving and shaking right it's not, it's not like, what were we doing at 20 years old I mean, <laughs> not doing that we're waking up early in the morning i mean i'm feeling good because we're just coming from the gym i've got the the line from the headband across my face <laughs> and you're already in the studio you know ready to go moving and shaking so i just got to commend you for that because again it's just not a lot of 20 year olds mm -hmm. doing that and connecting the dots like you are. I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, no worries, no worries. No, that's awesome. We give you big kudos for getting out there, taking action. A lot of people, they sit on information and they learn, but they don't actually take action. You're a complete opposite. You're like, I just need a little bit of information. I just, I just need enough action. to just go. I just need enough to go, that's all. And I'll, I'll learn as I keep going, you know, cause you, you're not, I, I, one thing is um people have, analysis paralysis right they mm -hmm. they want to wait until they feel like they have everything they need and then they just end up waiting and never taking action you know mm -hmm. so i'm one of those people like i just i just need enough sometimes i don't need anything just tell me like a broad concept and i'll just jump in because i'm gonna learn while i'm doing it anyway whether i know a lot about it or, or i know i'm gonna learn throughout the process you know so no that's the best way to learn that's the best way to learn what, what even interested you in mobile homes like what like caught your attention um just how easy i th just i think it was really the numbers mm -hmm. it was the numbers um because i wanted to um buy it buy duplexes and rent them out um but i was gonna take like the the seller finance kind of route you know couple thousand down and I just pay a little bit but I'm, I still have some cash flow from from my from my tenants and it was just it, there was just two the amount of cash was just a lot for you know one single family home or one duplex you know where I'm like okay well you guys explained you know or something you know you could take a twenty thousand down payment from a home and just buy four mobile homes and you're gonna make you know three times as much in you know in your monthly cash flows it was it was just the numbers the numbers made a lot of sense to me i could tell you watched the webinar a few times, <laughs> <laughs> webinar a few times. <laughs> um so let's go into your first mobile home deal man let's talk about it um how much did you make uh how much time did you put into it how much of your own money did you put into it and um you know just that that, that time frame of finding the home selling it and all that good stuff so i put no money in zero 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 point zero zero no dollars you know in any currency um <laughs> but one thing that i did that i actually got from you guys was you said just it was it was the concept of um finding out how much demand there is right testing the waters out so i found a home a mobile home that was for sale and i you know put it out there and just kind of just to see what the demand was for mobile homes in that area or just this mobile home in general um and the demand i put i mar i put this out there and on a saturday night sunday afternoon i had about five thousand hits Woo! on this, <laughs> on, this right there, on this deal and so <laughs> You know, and, and it was a Sunday, so the person who was selling it wasn't, you know, picking up the phone. Cause I didn't I didn't know the lot rent, I didn't know the size, <laughs> I didn't know any information. I was like, this is mobile home for sale, you know, who wants it? So I had to wait till Monday. And people people were mad too. They were mad, like, I'm I'm getting at you. Why are you not responding to me? Like I'm trying to keep first of all, I'm trying to keep up because there's so many people. My phone's like ding, 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 ding. 
So I had to wait until Monday to call the, the seller and like, hey, I got a buyer for you now, <laughs> you know? And he's like, oh, well, I just saw somebody we're gonna close, you know? And, and he was like, um, he, he closed the deal on that home, on that mobile home for 6,000. I brought him a buyer for 8,500. And he was like, oh, I missed out on some money. <laughs> I was yeah. like, well, you know, you got anything else? He was like, yeah, 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 I got this, I got that. So he gave me um, two other mobile homes to, um, to, to, put under, to put under contract. And it's just been like, bam, 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 you know, since then. Wow. Um, it was a week ago. No, that's oh, man. Uh, Some people are just happy to get days that, that was first thousand. First thousand. <laughs> <laughs> you moving? <laughs> it's just been it's been just a few days, man. Imagine, you know, with what you know now, and you know, six months or seven months passes, how much uh, value you're gonna bring to your marketplace and get paid for the amount of value you bring to the marketplace. So we're we're happy, man. We're happy to have you as a student. Yes. Like, yeah, move on and shake it, man. That's what I like. That uh, is amazing. <laughs> yeah, you. that is amazing. But let's get to the 17 deals in the pipeline. So you said okay. he's giving okay. you two other under contract. Yes. How are you, you know, what's going on with these other 15 that you're just getting? And, so, and you've been doing this for five days, right? Like you've been this, yeah, five days. Wow. This, <laughs> morning, this morning is day six. This morning is day six. <laughs> So, so I'm, I'm counting the days because you, hey. when we talk, you, when we talk, you said, what's your 90 day goal? And I'm like, okay, well, I need to, you know, I need to track something measurable. I need, I need, so I need data. I need numbers to keep me going. So I'm, can I, I'm, can the I add one thing. Yeah. Uh, the reason why we connected so heavily is when, you know, we, we talked to a lot of people and ask them, you know, what the 90 day goal is and what their, their plan is to get there. Um, you know, what's their why behind it. And I really like the fact that even though you're 20 years old, you were really, really clear on your why behind all this. Yeah, you're very, very clear on that. And I tell everybody, man, like, don't just come into this game just throwing out some random number. I just want to make $100,000 a month. It's like, why? For what? Even if you get that money, it's just money. It's just money. What is it going to change for you? I love the fact that you're so young, but you're looking like 10 years down the line, 15 years down the line. And um, when you have that amount of clarity, it makes this even more fun and makes everything easy. Yes. I mean, I'm waking, I woke, I went to bed at 3.30 this morning. I had to wake up at 6.30 and I'm, I'm energized. I'm ready. You know, my first meeting was at 9.30. You know, I got to call with you. We got some other things going on today. I'm literally, literally the first thing I do when I wake up is I check my phone to see how many inquiries I've, I've gotten over on the listings. Right. And then I'm, I'm planning, okay, I got to call myself. I got to do this. I got to do that. You know, so really everything right now is tunnel vision. How do I move? Not necessarily move as many mobile homes as I can, but how do I do it in a way that my seller is happy and my buyer is happy. Right. How do I, how do I do that? Do my job very well and still establish those relationships you know so and it's it's not about money i mean the first deal i was supposed to make a thousand dollars you know um and the buyer he was like you know there's some damage there's a leak in the roof you know we got to come down the first deal i made you know five hundred dollars uh at, at the at the end of at the closing so you know and it's not worth, it's, it's not about the $500. It's not about the money. It's about the relationship I just established with the seller on how, I, how quickly I was able to move his mobile home. And that's what led to having more deals uh, in the pipeline. Man, you got it right there. It's not even about, <laughs> it's about getting the deal done. We tell that to our students all the time. It's not about hitting it out of the park on your first one. Yeah, it's great if you make 10, 20,000, but even if you make $500, you have the confidence. Now right. you know the formula. Now you know how to bring value to others. That's what it's really about. Yeah, the value to others because it's those connections. It's the connections that's going to bring you multiple fruit in the future. And I'm guessing that is how you got to the 17 deal. Yeah. So let me let me break that down for you guys. Um, so of course I brought I put this home out for sale for the seller. Um, he sold it quickly to another buyer, but then he realized that I was able to get him more money um, on that home than what he actually sold for. So he wanted, you know, he was, he wanted to work with me because I was able to get him more. I was able to bring more value to him. The value to him was the money, but it was value to him. Right. And so he said, you know, I have this and this, I have two more homes 
can you move those, right? I said, you know, sure. He was, he, he had a little, he wanted to work with me, but he still had a little doubt, you know, so, you know, cause the other ones had been on the market for some time. And he, and I said, you know, well, let's, let's get all of the, all of the details in the agreement together because I've, I've never met this guy. He's three hours away. You know, I've never been to the park. I still don't know all about the mobile home business. People tell me parks can be, can be cutthroat when they're dealing with, with sellers and things like that, you know? So I said, okay, let's get the details of the, of the agreement together. And I sent him a contract via DocuSign. He was like, yeah, I mean, it looks good, but um, I'll pay you if you can, you know, we'll see how quickly you can bring me a buyer. I said, oh, I could tell that he had doubt in him. I said, okay, well, we'll, we'll do that. I call him first thing the next day. Hey, I have a buyer at boom, this price, which was more than what he was selling it for again. He was so happy. He said, okay, I got this home for you. I need to buy you. So this one, we got another one in the in the park. Um, he's listed that one at like 63,000. And it's uh, recently remodeled and things like that. So we'll see how that one goes. Um, so he has two. He wants me to sell those. He says, once I sell those, he has five more in the park for me that need to be sold. I guess word is spreading because after that, a couple hours later, another mobile home park called me because th this mobile home park is north columbus another one called me south columbus ohio and said hey we have five mobile homes we need move too you know can you help us sell them I said, yeah sure no problem an hour after that another mobile home park in illinois called me hey we have five that we need move too can you help us you know i said yeah just send me the information we'll you know we'll see what we can do so that's kind of how um how the deals got in the pipeline. So I'm sitting on what, 17, 17 contracts. Wow. However, here, here are the relationships. The guy who bought the first one worked for, works for in a, a mobile home investment group in Michigan. And he said, you know, because I was so good to him because I was, you know, gave him all of the information. I was just honest with him. I gave him all the information about what was wrong with the home. Didn't try to, you know, sugarcoat or anything. Just told, just told him what's up, told him the number you know, even negotiated it down for him. And he said, okay, well, my company likes this mobile home and we'll buy it, but we actually want to buy the entire park. You know, can you help us? <laughs> um, and so, I mean, now I, I'm just like, oh, I, I've never sold a park before. I don't even, I can't even find material online to teach me how to sell a park and what I need to know. Um, so I have to, you know, just pray about that one and, you know, hold on and, and do my due diligence. But, um, it's it's that value that I gave to the buyer. The buyer felt like he got such a good deal that now they want me to help broker a deal for an entire park because that's what they really do. They buy parks, not just not just uh, they want homes. Um, so that's I mean that's that's the pipeline, and that's this is day six, and it's it's all because you guys put out information um, on the internet. And I just so happened to find it, you know, and and. It's been great ever since so <laughs> and i love to hear that that is a true hustler spirit right there um to be able to get all of that in the pipeline on your sixth day of even yeah. learning about mobile home investing and getting into this business that is amazing we're super proud of you we cannot um believe and i'm sure so many people got a ton of value out of your story yeah. and hearing the action you're taking yeah. you know that's the biggest thing i think i'm taking away from this it's like it's not about knowing everything it's about getting out there taking action and learning as you go and building those relationships for and sure. adding value for sure yeah making connecting the dots bringing value to the marketplace i like that you mentioned win-win making the other uh the seller you know making your connections making them be in the winning seat be before self so there's a yeah. book out there called the go-giver and you know it, it basically states you level up by just being the connector and that's what you're doing you're yeah. connecting people with things that they need and you're getting paid for your efforts so we love it man that's what we teach in our course absolutely so thank you shane we really really appreciate you sharing all that information your journey and all of the tips and advice that you gave to all of our viewers right. interested in learning more we have a link below this video to apply for our 90-day accelerator program we have students like Shane that are killing it other students making five to forty thousand dollars a month with mobile home investing so if you're interested in doing the same apply at the link below this video and as always
always, for the best mobile home investing advice, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of videos we post every day.